So anti-PD-1 therapy in combination with chemotherapy has transformed the way we treat metastatic disease. Now, both uh, anti-PD-1 agents, nivolumab and pembrolizumab, are used routinely in first-line setting, both for HER2-negative and HER2-positive adenocarcinoma and squamous cell cancers. What about patients with earlier stage disease? Well, to date, there's not been yet a study that demonstrated definitively that use of immune checkpoint inhibitors in neoadjuvant setting or perioperative setting is helpful. Of course, in adjuvant setting, we already have some data that uh, adjuvant nivolumab improves survival, uh, disease-free survival after resection uh, in patients with uh, uh, locally advanced disease. Uh, in the U.S., however, the, the really the preferred approach is to give most of the treatment preoperatively, and preclinically, there's also rationale for that. You want to be able to expand on a T-cell population anti-tumor response while the primary tumor is still in place. And so biologically, it makes a lot of sense to do this approach in preoperative or neoadjuvant setting as opposed to just adjuvantly. So Matterhorn study is based on this rationale, and it compares uh, treatment of chemotherapy, which is the most widely used three-drug combination with a FLOT regimen or 5-FU and oxaliplatin and docetaxel, plus minus anti-PD L1 agent of Rolimab. And this is a large phase three study, which is occurring globally. Patients are randomized to receive either the FLOT plus Rolimab or FLOT and pembrolizumab. Uh, with primary endpoint of both event-free survival and then secondary endpoints of overall survival and pathologic response.